here I am learning geology and wondering, will I find gold in Clear Creek? I do not understand what I'm looking at. Good morning. I've been trying to find places to look for gold closer to home. I definitely want to take the trips, but most weekends I, I can't. Uh, if I can find some places close enough to home, then I can practice my panning, I can practice my high banking, I can do some metal detecting, all that stuff. Uh, you know, basically whenever I want. I watched some videos on geology, I started listening to a geology textbook audiobook, and then I began exploring the United States Geological Survey website. You know, USGS. The USGS website is, is super easy to use, just plain click. All these blobs of color have names like pawpaw formation, Grayson marl, fluviatile terrace deposits, and alluvium. Alluvium is the one that got me excited immediately. On TV they always call it alluvial gold, so I figured there must be a connection. And that's how I identified Clear Creek as a target. Description said bedrock and stream. Those are some very exciting words for somebody just starting out. There are two streams near Clear Creek in Texas. My Clear Creek runs from Montague County and feeds into the Elm Fork Trinity River, which is where I did my last video. I went to the bridge where I can access Clear Creek and took some pictures to get feedback on Facebook from the experts. And mostly what I got was, I don't know, try it. So I went during my lunch break uh, with a bucket and a shovel. And when I got closer to the rocks, things were different than I expected. Well, I came down here to get some uh, dirt. And you can see, I mean, this is a really good spot. Look at that. I don't have the equipment to get down into that. Right now, I mean, that'd be a good place for a dredge. There's a lot of construction debris here for some reason. I brought a shovel in a bucket. Trying to go down on the other side of the road. There's a road up there. Uh, but somebody, even though this is all text dot property, somebody uh, fenced it off and said no hunting, no fishing. Um, private property, which it's not. So I'm not sure how they're getting away with that, but um, whatever. I'll uh, catch plenty of good spots around here. The rocks were jagged and rough. Um, I didn't see any quartz, and there was lots of this rock that looked, frankly, rusty. Um, but more than anything, there were just these big limestone slabs. I do not understand what I'm looking at. It's worn, but it's not rounded. It's all this redstone stuff. This looks like broken up bedrock, right? Limestone. Digging was all but impossible. The creek bed was so rocky that the shovel just would not go in any more than a couple inches, if that. And all I pulled out was large gravels. I took as much as I could in the time that I had, and I also took a lot of pictures, but what appeared to be fossils. Uh, the next day I classified it all down and panned it out. Not a thing. No black sands, even. Uh, in fact, the sands were white, like really white. Overall, I call this experience a success. I got outside, explored my local area, dug some dirt. I got great experience panning material. And no, I did not find gold in Clear Creek, but I did see some cool fossils, plenty of bedrock, which I don't see very often in my area. I did see on the USGS map several smaller areas called fluvatile terrace deposits. A longer description includes quartzite, milky quartz, and igneous rocks, all of which I'm told are much more promising for actually finding gold. I have two ideas for how to prospect that get permission to metal detect. I'm looking at some plowed fields and a farm. There's one tiny little spot where a creek passes through it briefly, so I'm going to check that out. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.